G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com. I'm here today in Photoshop Elements 2021 for the ABCs of PSE, where we learn about one tool in the Photoshop Elements toolbox each day. Today's letter of the day is the letter F. F is for the smart brush. In Photoshop Elements, we have a really great tool called the Smart Brush. It does Photoshop style adjustments, but it labels them in easy to understand ways and automatically does the work for you. Let us start off with looking at the different options we have in the Smart Brush. We have the Smart Brush tool and we have the Detail Smart Brush tool. And the next thing along here is all of the presets. Now I love to have my presets as a list so that I can see exactly what they are all. And you can see that some of them are specific for backgrounds, some are specific for um, fixing issues, things being behind bars or a net, and some are just fun edits. So let's try this brick wall and we're just going to paint around the background of this photo and you, as you can see it's putting a brick wall effect over that whole photograph. You use um, the smart brush in the same way as you would use the quick selection tool in that you can have it set to draw a new selection each time, add or remove from your selection. You can change the size of the brush and you can also change other brush settings. Inverting the selection simply means that everything that was selected is now deselected and everything that was deselected is now selected. So now we see the bricks on Matthew's face. You can also use the refine edge tool to allow you to, well, refine the edges so that you have a bit more of a soft edge, for example, and you might want to, you know, run across the edge of curly hair to get that selected as well. You can click OK. And then you can see we have a bit more of a soft edge over his hair here. So I'm going to just revert my image, go to edit and then revert. I'm going to show you a photograph of me with no makeup, very unflattering light. And we're going to see what we can do to jazz this up using the smart brush features. So I'm going to go to the presets and we're going to use portrait and start by adding some lipstick. So we can click and drag over the lips to add lipstick. We can zoom in, hold down our Alt key to switch quickly to the deselect mode. Having used Photoshop Elements for many years, I find that manually doing my own selections easier than the Refine Edge tool. I have done an, a video about using the Refine Edge tool, which I will link here. So here we go. So I think that will do for lipstick. And now once you have completed your selection, you can just you know, click away for the move tool and you can see that it's added this kind of red layer. Now I can do a little bit more fancy footwork. <laughs> for example, I can pull out the brush tool to go along the edge of the lip there. Or I can change the colour to, you know, something that's more kind of realistic to what I might wear. Let's take a look at this little selfie I did and see what we can do with this smart brush. So there's several portrait options. Bright eyes, details, light and skin tones, lipstick, pearly whites, spray tan and very pearly whites. So let's start off with pearly whites because my teeth are definitely not all as white as they could be. Of course, I'm just showing you this to show what Photoshop Elements can do. You can, of course, leave your photos unretouched and that's how I usually do them. And there is our pearly whites. Now we can always turn that off and uh, try again with the very pearly whites and see what difference that makes. before very white somewhat so I think I will keep very pearly whites there but I might just use my brush tool to brush away the changes on my lip there let's go back to our photo layer and then let's select our bright eyes just drag over each eye now you can choose how far out you want the white to be applied I'm going to use my brush to just remove them a little bit because I don't 
Let's have a look. I think it's better with just the white of the eye. You can tell me what you think in the comments. Should I include the waterline or just keep it to the eye? Here's our bright eyes and we can zoom out. I like to view these things at full size and you can see, yep, it's definitely brightened up those eyes. And you can see if I use my uh, brush tool, you can see what it would look like if I had extended it a bit. And if you think that's too severe, of course you can adjust the opacity. Let's leave it at full strength for now. Got lightened skin tones, lipsticks, pearly whites. So the lightened skin tones possibly, I, I'm not sure how it works on all skin tones, but for me, I would use it to get rid of the red of my um, face. See, I don't know that it, at least on my pasty skin, it's really taking out that red quite a lot and it's not getting rid of my freckles. The other option you have if you want to work with your skin is a spray tan. So let's, let's go the other direction and... Uh, don't, can you even tell the difference? Of course, this will be very um, personal depending on your skin. I don't think that uh, spray tan has actually made my skin any darker or bronzier. I think I'll keep my skin just as it is. What I would love to see added to this smart brush would be some, um, maybe some skin smoothing options. Now we do have some lighting effects, some photographic effects. Special effects, lots of different effects. This photo is adorable, but Lucy's red jacket here is quite distracting, I feel, although it does kind of balance with the, the um, tulips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the desaturate reds option and I'm just going to paint that on Lucy's arm here. I'm going to use the refine edge tool to just help decontaminate the colors so you can see where the the jumper is if I you can see we've got a bit of an issue so we're just going to add a little bit out here because that red was really just getting onto his jumper and then we're just going to add a tiny bit there we go and then what we can then do is reduce the opacity of that layer if we want to allow some of the uh, red to show through make it blend in a bit more Thanks so much for watching. If you liked learning about the smart brush tool, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notified of the next video in the series. To make sure you don't miss any of them because you know how things can get lost in your, your feed, subscribe to my email list here. You'll receive my free printable shortcut cards plus reminders of when new videos are posted. If you'd like to learn more about Photoshop elements or digital scrapbooking, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com.